What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, Plastic Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the sound, well, you've come to the right place. Another Halloween come, another Halloween gone, and you know what that means. People getting upset over Halloween costumes that they find offensive. I'm telling you, every year the floodgates open and you hear about some bozo who decided to get a little edgy with their Halloween festivities. Always a bunch of stories like those, and well, did anyone think that this year would be any different? So, we have this Twitter thread which details how a student at a high school wore a Nazi uniform to school, or so they say. I don't use Twitter often, but I'd like to use this thread to bring to light a situation that occurred at Jones College Prep in Chicago this past week, where a student wore a Nazi outfit to school. David Luna is a senior at Jones College Prep with a history of racist, sexist, and now anti-Semitic behavior. He's been seeing... He's been seen wearing clothing promoting anti-black slogans such as Back the Blue, Blue Lives Matter, Let's Go Brandon, etc. Nah, first off, you just gotta have to believe what this person's saying. They say that David has a history of racist and sexist behavior, which, hey, maybe he does, but I'm gonna need more than just your word to believe it. They say he openly wears clothing that's anti-black such as Back the Blue, Blue Lives Matter, and Let's Go Brandon. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but none of those slogans are anti-black. I mean, Let's Go Brandon is a meme used to make fun of Joe Biden. So I don't even know how race plays a part there. As far as the back the blue stuff, again, that has nothing to do with black people. It's a slogan to show support for the police and I can see how that might be anti-black, but you'd have to be doing some real mental gymnastics in order for that to make a lick of sense. The way I see it, the only way you can interpret such a slogan to be interpreted as anti-black is if you made the argument of, well, since police brutality is inflicted on black people, that means any support for the police is racist. Which is dumb because if you make that argument, you'd also have to think that if you support Black Lives Matter, right, you'd have to be in support of property damage, arson, and death, because these are things that the movement has been known to perpetuate from time to time. The point is, both of these lines of reasoning is stupid. If your view of the world is that simplistic, honestly, I'm giving you more attention than you really deserve. On Halloween Monday, October 31st, David arrived to school wearing a costume reminiscent of a Nazi uniform, telling other students that he was a German soldier from the 1940s, while later telling the admin he was a Berlin Wall Patrol Guard. Again, this is another detail to the story that you kind of just have to believe. There's no proof or whatever, so I don't know. I'm kind of hesitant to believe it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, though, but not all German soldiers in World War II were Nazis, right? So even if this was the case, he was saying, oh, I'm a German soldier from World War II. I don't know. Is there really an issue? I don't know. We have a picture right here. And to prevent confusion, here's another picture from a different angle. And if you know anything about history, you're starting to raise an eyebrow because that ain't no Nazi uniform. I ain't no history buff, but I do know that that right there is the East German uniform. East Germany, of course, being a satellite state of the USSR back in the day. So these guys are basically the opposite of Nazis. They were commies for God's sake. Well, fine, socialists, I guess it makes a difference, but they're not the nationalist kind, so there's that. At the end of the school day, a costume contest was held during a free period. David signed up and was allowed to walk on the stage where he did the Nazi goose walk as well as the Nazi salute video below. The principal pulled him aside to talk to him about his outfit. I'm, I'm sorry, this is, this is cringe. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm leaning more so in this guy's favor. I want to put in a good word for him, but God, this is, why? Why? Back to it though, I'm wondering how much this person really knows about history because I looked into the goose step for the purposes of this video because I know that the goose step ain't just done by the Nazis, I know them Koreans, the ones in the north, they do it too, but it turns out there's tons of countries that still do the goose step for their parades and drills and such. They do them south of the border, a lot of Latin American countries do it, even some countries in Europe, Africa, Asia as well. So no, it ain't really the Nazi walk, all it really takes is a quick skim of the Wikipedia page to learn that. They also say that that there was a siege cow thrown in there. Let's watch him do the salute again. I don't know about you, but I don't see it. This looks like a completely normal salute. I suppose you could say he did it here, but that don't look like no Nazi salute to me. The arm's not straight, not even at the right angle. Like, why are you trying to lie about something that can be disproved by literally just looking at the so-called evidence that you yourself are providing? After an email was sent out to parents by Dr. Joseph Powers, the principal, stating that he didn't find the costume offensive and the email neglected to comment on the anti-Semitic actions performed in the video, since this event, 
that, people have taken their outrage to social media. We won't be looking at the videos because they really don't add anything, but what I will say is I think this person is really trying to blow this out of proportion. They attached three videos and a picture, but these are TikToks from two people. I don't know about you, but two people bitching and moaning about something don't seem like much of an outrage to me. The administration has yet to do anything substantial to give Luna consequences for his actions. Many of the students and staff, including myself, are extremely outraged by the handling of this bigoted behavior. Demand more be done to bring justice to the Jewish community, uh, CPS-wide. Yeah, you know what would really help bring justice to anti-Semitism? Really given that crushing blow that it so desperately needs? We need to descend on this random student who brought a cringe Halloween outfit to school and walked funny on a stage and honestly if there really are all these people mad about this i got something to say to them suck it up you freaking babies to anyone who sees this tweet please share in any way you can people need to be made aware of the treatment of not only jewish people but also anti-semitic activity at jones college prep and help us push to make changes in how admin reacts to events such as this i don't know how sheltered you have to be to think that this is a disgusting display of anti-semitism he's wearing a uniform of a post-war german soldier that's anti-semitism to you i have no reason to care about anything you have to say i don't know when i think of anti-semitism i think hate crimes, genocide, what have you. This is just some history geek wearing a uniform that kind of looks like the 1940s wear marched. Is that how you say it? These Germans have all sorts of funny ways of saying their words. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Also, in terms of David's behavior after the incident, he put his hands on another student after they tried to confront him on the nature of his costume, saying, I don't have the time to talk about this. Again, we're kind of left with another scenario where you just kind of have to believe this person. We don't know the context or specifics. For all we know, maybe this student was up in his face and he decided to kind of push him back, or maybe this whole scenario was made up out of nowhere. And I really wouldn't be surprised if it was. I mean, throughout this thread, this person intentionally or not tries to twist everything in order to make this kid look bad so it wouldn't come off as much of a shock if this is just another instance of that they then show a series of emails that the school administrator sent out to students and parents i won't read them but i'll throw them up on screen for those who wanna to sum it up though, the administrator actually took the uniform kid's side explaining that he himself went to the Berlin Wall in the 80s and saw these very uniforms being worn by the guards. They then bring up a picture of a message of some sort that the uniform kid posted and they're using that as an example of him being racist. Another example, equality is when persons are treated the same no matter the physical difference. Our country lived up to this ideal when we abolished racist laws. Now our country is struggling due to lawmakers wanting to give extra privileges to blacks such as extra land for black farmers, more welfare exceptions for school, and forcing companies to make hiring quotas for blacks. These ideas have gotten worse from the past and must be changed in hope of a better America for all. First off, nothing about that screams racism to me. This person is just questioning what he believes to be racial bias in certain aspects of our lives. Now, I'm not gonna get into the argument of whether or not black people get special treatment. But what I will say is, obviously, it's a point of contention. There's obviously a discussion around it, and I don't think it's wrong for someone to question it, even if you don't particularly agree with it. Ironically, this person's just proven the point he's making in the message. He's making the point that black people receive special treatment and he's being called racist for it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but being able to dismiss any criticism towards yourself by screaming racism, using your status as a minority to shut down someone else, I feel like to an extent that is a mark of privilege. That is an example of favoritism, which was what this message was about. So, in your attempt to shut this guy down, ironically, you just kind of proved him right. Update, Dr. Joseph Powers has been removed from Jones as an investigation is done on his conduct. While this is a big step, David Luna has yet to be held accountable. This isn't over yet. Please continue to share this tweet and any others to continue spreading awareness. God, this person, whoever you are, you are a sociopath. You're going after someone's job because he didn't immediately fold to you, you bunch of crybabies, and now they're trying to get this kid removed from his school because he wore a uniform. My god! It's worth noting that in a reply to someone to this thread, they say this. Dude, he assaulted one of my friends over this situation. Don't tell me to chill out. I don't know if it's in reference to that earlier tweet or what, but again, it's another situation where you just kind of have to take this person at their word. And now that I've read through this tweet, I'm not sure if this person is trustworthy enough for me to do so. Why should I take this person's word when they say certain events happen when throughout this thread, this person twists and misinterprets their own evidence? If this person is willing to lie about things, you can disprove by literally 
literally just looking at the evidence that they themselves provide, why in Sam's Hill should I take their word when they say, oh, this person did so and so, with no further proof to back it up? Overall, I'm left disgusted, disgusted I tell you, by this whole ordeal. The worst crime this gentleman committed was being a little cringe, but ain't that just in the spirit of Halloween? Now you have losers and bozos like these trying to rally the internet to descend upon him like locusts based on nothing but half-truths. Why? Because he wore a dumb dang old uniform. This is a classic case of crowd bullying, acting the victim for sympathy and internet points at someone else's expense. Makes me want to gag, but that's all I've got for this stick. Nah, you guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.